Hi everybody. Well, it's Good Friday, and um, boy, have I had a week. So my name is Sue. I'm also known as the Wandering Weight Watcher, and boy, have I got an adventure for you. Let me start at the beginning. Years ago, my family went on a huge trip. Oh, it was huge for us, us anyway. So we <laughs> we had my car plus a rental car, all five kids, Joe and I. And um, I don't remember if we had the dogs or not. I don't think we did. I think we had somebody taking care of the dogs for us. But anyway, uh, we didn't have the dogs yet, actually. Um, we went on a cross-country camping trip and we stayed at several KOA campgrounds and Joe and I would talk to the workers and everything and we had s talked amongst ourselves and said that when we both retired this is what we would like to do just travel from around the country from campground to campground and uh, work at the campground and meet all kinds of people and just have a great adventure And as you know, you know, that didn't work out because of Joe's illness. Matter of fact, it was during one of those camping stays at that big, long camping trip that we found out that his cancer had returned and was progressing. We only found that out because we went on a rafting trip. And, well, there's a long story about that, but suffice it to say, Joe got thrown out of the raft and, uh, was hospitalized so any anyhow we never ta stopped talking about it and after Joe died and I had to move out of the house and the condo and I lost my car and everything I didn't think that that type of a thing was ever possible for me until this week so I have been a member of WorkCamper.com for a long time. That's KOA's website. Uh, there's another one called Work at KOA, which I'm still kind of confused about. Actually, I emailed them, but uh, I think WorkCamper.com is, even though it's a KOA affiliate, I think it's for things that also are not KOA campgrounds, from what I've seen anyway. Well, to make a long story short, I decided I was going to go ahead and update my resume. And uh, I'd been looking at places that if I were to work, this is where I would like to be. And so uh, I'm looking for places that provide housing for their employees because I don't have an, an RV. And uh, I would love to have an RV or even a camper van. I just, you know, I'm not in a position to get one right now. So when I go camping, it's out of my car and I have a tent. Well, they don't like their employees staying in tents. Anyway, so I found a place that I thought if I were going to do work camping for a first time doing it, I'd kind of like to be here. And uh, so I updated my resume and I thought, okay, well, I'm just going to send them my resume. Let's see what happens. So you'll never believe this. I was sitting here in the dark because the sun was shining and all of a sudden it found a cloud so I got pretty dark in here turned my light on so Tuesday I sent my resume to this place uh, it's a KOA campground and within 30 minutes they called me and they said we see your resume here uh, we'd like to offer you a phone interview if you're available well of course I said yes and um, I thought the first thing I'm gonna do in this interview is let them know I don't have an RV so because it's a big KOA resort and I mean it's the second largest resort in the country or KOA anyway in the country I scheduled a, the uh, interview for Wednesday afternoon and um, <clears throat> talked to the lady in charge of hiring for I don't know I was on the phone for about an hour she offered me the job so your wandering Weight Watcher is wandering to South Dakota 
and I'm going to be there for almost six months. What an adventure. <laughs> I'm going to be leaving here the Monday after Mother's Day, which is May 9th. Uh, and I had planned to do that anyway <clears throat> because Emily is graduating on the 14th. So I was going to take that time to travel out there and make arrange, you know, make the final details for her graduation party and everything. Uh, so anyway, I was going to travel alone. It turns out I'm not traveling alone anymore because Molly is going with me now. Molly is going to be staying with my daughter while I am doing this job. So I'm going to be doing front desk reservation at this KOA. And here's the thing. You know those hikes I was going to go on in a couple weeks? The Black Elk Peak Trail is uh, the main hike I was going to do. That's that 9.2 mile hike up to the highest peak in South Dakota. Turns out this KOA is nine minutes from the trailhead. And um, I am going to be there at, and I also want to do the Mount Rushmore Trail, which is just, you know, a few minutes drive from there. Uh, the Crazy Horse Monument is close by. Badlands National Park is maybe an hour away. Uh, I wanted to go to Wall Drug just because I want to go to Wall Drug, uh, which is also like 45 minutes away. And uh, the hot springs are with an hour drive. So all the things that I wanted to do in a week's time, I now have the entire summer and early fall to do. So I'll get two days off a week to go explore. I got to tell you, I'm so excited. I'm so excited that I'm going to be able to bring you guys along with me on this wonderful, fantastic journey. Uh, I will be staying in um, the employee housing, which is like a dormitory. That will be different for me because, you know, at my age, it's been a long time since I set foot in a dorm. Um, but they do have like a common area kitchen and stuff like that. I'll have to see what the accommodations are. But I'm taking my food scale, my uh, air fryer, and my Instant Pot with me just in case I can use those. It could be I can't. But, I, you know, there's a grocery store down in the uh, town of Custer. Um, and also uh, Rapid City has a Walmart. Um, Rapid City is a little bit further uh and by a little bit further, I mean, you know, 45 minutes as opposed to 20 minutes from the other grocery store down in Custer. So um, I'll be able to, you know, get the food that I need. Of course, I'm not traveling with a lot of food uh, other than some Weight Watcher snacks that I will be making here. I'm kind of on a mission right now to empty my house of uh, all of my perishable food. So whether that means I'm eating it or I'm giving it away to other people. So some of it's going to have to go to my kids because there's no way I'm going to eat all of it, you know, between now and the time I leave. Uh, my living room right now is a total wreck because I have pulled out everything, um, like all my camera equipment right now spread out all over the floor because I'm sorting that. I bought a cute little container or, you know, decorative box at Michael's yesterday to put my camera equipment in, into my car you know, that something that doesn't scream, look, there's electronics in here. <laughs> um, so that'll go in there. And uh, I'm making lists of things that I need to do, things that I need to take with me. So, um, of course, I'll have a uniform. I do have to supply my own pants and shoes, of course. But anyway, I start on May 19th out in South Dakota. Uh, in the beautiful Black Hills. If you want to Google this place or go on YouTube to find out more about where I'm going to be, it's called the Mount Rushmore KOA at Palmer Gulch. And it's in South Dakota in Hill City, South Dakota. So, or close to Hill City, anyway. Uh, anyway, this all came about so fast. I, I was for the first couple of days I was sort of stunned and I and then um, you know I had originally said I could start June 1st but then you know talking to my family and everything it logistically it did not make any sense for me to drive all the way out there 
to Idaho because I'm going to pass this place practically anyway uh, on uh, I-90 on the way there and then to drive all the way back to get things here and then drive all the way back to South Dakota. Now I will be about 16 hours away from my daughter so um, much closer than I am now of course but um, but anyway you know it, it's not it'll take me a couple days to get there from her place. So after I figured everything out here with my apartment and I'm keeping my apartment here just so you know I'm not giving up my space uh, I, you know I had talked to the, my landlady then uh, on Wednesday I talked to her that which I guess was yesterday or no I did talk to her on, on uh, yeah Wednesday today's Friday I'm losing track of time <laughs> uh, I have so much to do uh, but anyway I talked with her got things settled for here had to make sure my animals were uh, taken care of. Um, my son that lives in Wapakoneta, who originally had the cat, is going to take him back for me while I'm gone. Uh, so I had to have him taken care of, but, you know, Andrew's not going to be able to get Harvey till after we all get back from the graduation, or they all get back from the graduation. So he's flying out of Detroit to go out there, so he's got to go by here anyway to get home. He's going to stop and get him on the way home. And my niece is going to come and take care of him while we're all gone. But things like that, I had to get settled. Um, I wanted to make, and uh, I have to stay here. <coughs> uh, I have to stay here the first week of May because I'm working. Uh, I'm an election worker. <coughs> so I'm working election day, and then I'm working a couple early voting days. So I need to be here, and plus I have substitute teaching jobs scheduled through April, the end of April. So, and I don't, there's nothing available yet. That first week of May, I may take a couple, you know, just to bulk up my bank account a little bit. So anyway, that's what I have been up to. And uh, it's an exciting time. So this is what I'm kind of thinking. I am going to be looking forward to doing very well on Weight Watchers while I'm gone. Even though there's going to be tons of food available at this KOA, they have, on the weekends, they have an all-you-can-eat pancake breakfast, uh, which, you know, I may go to once, you know, or twice, but uh, I make pretty good pancakes myself. I'm thinking about maybe taking my little mini dash with me uh, to make waffles but on my day off, but I don't know what those days are going to be. Uh, there's going to be, like I said, tons of food there. There's, they have a Chuck Wagon dinner you can go to. Uh, of course, keep in mind, I'm going to be working, so I'm not going to have a lot of time to go these, to these places. Uh, and they do have, like, a, uh, a burger place. On site, they have, like, a, a, it's called the Di Ponderosa Dining Area, I think, which is a full-service restaurant. And um, because there is a lodge on site also. And they have a pub there, which offers bar food. They do have another place where they have, you know, they offer burgers and hot dogs and stuff like that. So tons of not point-friendly food there. But because my goal <coughs> is to uh, be there <coughs> in, the, in that beautiful country where I can do all those wonderful hikes, my goal is to also lose weight while I'm there. So that's why I'm taking my food scale. I'm taking my bathroom scale. And I have, of course, I'll have the Weight Watchers app. Not sure how well things are going to work while I'm up there because I'm told cell service is spotty and internet service is okay as long as not everybody in the park is using the internet at the same time. So I may have to go into town to use the internet. But uh, anyway, I have all the tools available to me. Uh, I am on my trip. I'm going to make some of my homemade Weight Watcher granola to take with me just to snack on while I'm on the road. And then, of course, it's something I can make while I'm there. Uh, I stand, plan on staying on plan while I'm on my journey out there and also while I'm staying there. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to be eating on the way there and while I'm at this place and I'm going to be there until probably the middle of October so uh, of course my birthday is October 11th and I may be there on my birthday and I want that to be a big celebration 
it'll be my 69th birthday where I can also celebrate a nice weight loss for the summer. So uh, that is my plan. And uh, I'm taking my my big water <coughs> bottle with me, uh, my 32 ouncer. <coughs> so I'll be working inside the building, but it's a huge park. So when I'm off, even if I'm not out hiking in the hills around me, I can be walking around that park. I. I don't know how how many acres it is, but I will tell you it's it's a huge KOA. It's a resort, and it truly is a resort. They have pools there. I, on my time off, I can swim in the pool. They have two pools there. They have a splash pad. They've got a water slide. Oh, and they have horseback riding. And so your, your lady Sue here is going to learn how to ride a horse while I'm there. That's one of my goals. I'm going to learn how to ride a horse. So I'm really looking forward to this. And like I said, you can look this place up online uh, right at the foot of Mount Rushmore. And at the foot, I mean, when I was talking to the lady, I told her I had planned a hiking trip out there <coughs> to hike Black Elk Peak. She said, oh, I'm looking at that right now. So she's looking at it out her office window from this place. And she goes, yeah, you can see that from pretty well anywhere in the park. So uh, I'm going to be in this beautiful hiking country Everything that I had planned to do in one week, now I have the entire summer to do. Uh, so excited about this. <coughs> At first I thought, Sue, you got to be nuts to be doing this. But, you know, like I said, this was something that was on my bucket list for a long time. Joe and I had dreamed of doing this. And if I, you know, it could be that I'm going to hate it and not want to do it ever again. It could be that I'm going to absolutely love it and choose to keep doing it. Um, you know, one of the things that this lady told me when I was telling her is that their goal is to make sure all of their employees are happy so that they'll come back again. So it could be that, you know, I'll be out there again. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll see how I can stand being away from Molly for six months. Um, Emily had said that she'd like to make a trip over at least once this summer to see me. And, of course, it is a pet-friendly park. They just don't allow their... Uh, employees to have pets there if they're staying in the employee housing. So if y'all have a camper you want to loan me, <laughs> I'll be open to that. So that way I could have Molly. Uh, but hopefully I'll be able one day to have my own self-contained camper that uh, I can take the animals with me. Because, you know, Molly's getting old and I'm going to miss her, really. I'm going to miss her a lot. So, matter of fact, today I just made all the arrangements for her to um, get to the vet and get all of her shots caught up and uh, get her medical records and everything to take out with me. So, anyway, that's what's happening with me. It's been kind of a whirlwind week. I have a lot to do. I've got, like I said, I've got camera equipment strewn all over my living room right now that today, if I don't get anything else accomplished, it's going to get all organized into different bags and then put into that nice container that I bought so that all my camera stuff is charged up and uh, organized and ready to go. So, And I have uh, one more camera mount to put in my car yet so I can take pictures of some of the scenery while I'm gone. Anyway, I will keep you up to date and I'm certainly going to keep you, uh, bring you along with me to show you the, the sites and all of the adventures that I'm going on. So, you know, your wandering Weight Watcher is getting ready to hit the road in a real big way. And I'm excited to bring you along. So stay tuned. It's going to be a heck of a ride. <laughs>